the American people have awakened. The, the Patriot Uprising, what some people might call the Tea Party Movement, whatever you want to call it. And when the Patriot Uprising uh, occurred, it, it, it really occurred and gained steam because the American people got fed up. In the last 20 years, we've seen an acceleration away from our Constitution Bill of Rights and towards absolute despotism. When it reaches the stage that you can look at what's going on and say, well, this is just a series of usurpations, abuses, which are leading inexorably to this result, then it is not simply one's right, it is your duty to take this kind of action. And I sincerely hope that enough people have crossed that personal line in the sand where they will join forces with the rest of us so that a small number of us are not required to use force and uh, use of arms. Sheriff, you took an oath to uphold and defend and obey the United States Constitution. When it matters most is now. You mean from now on? The Cartwrights don't fight their own battles anymore, is that what you're saying? From now on, whenever we get into any kind of trouble, we have to go begging for help? Not begging, it ain't begging. Well, then what is it if it isn't begging? Because 30 years from now, somebody's going to ask you what you did during the Patriot Uprising. The time when you have to defend yourself from the government is when the law becomes lawless. We're drawing the line in the sand, and we're saying, this is our territory. No, absolutely not. I will never take a mandatory vaccination. There might be shooting that day. Uh, I'm going to do what I need to do to protect my family. It's up to us to fix the mess. But this Interstate Commerce Clause has been interpreted so broadly as to literally affect every aspect and phase of American life. What are our obligations of citizenship? The thing to fear the most is not a person with a gun, but a government that would take that gun away. A well-regulated militia is necessary to that purpose. If they want to stop the federal government, they, they have to find a vehicle. They have to find something that's couched either in law or the Constitution. There are tough times on Main Street. Unemployment reached double digits and small businesses are struggling to stay alive. The answer to 1984 is 1776.